So to add a custom annotation, what we're going to do is we're going to build basically a, a zombie map annotator. Okay. Okay. And this is a class I put together and we added it in here, and it conforms to the MK map view delegate. Okay. All right. So basically, this is going to be a delegate to the map view. Okay. And what's going to happen is whenever and this is code you've already added in. It's code I've already added in. We'll make it available for download. Okay. And it's pretty straightforward code, but this way you don't have to watch me type it in. Okay. And basically, what's going to happen is every time we add an annotation to the map, and remember right. in our like view our controller, zombies. exactly in our view okay. controller, we ran through that array and stuck each zombie okay. in the map. Uh, the map's going to turn around and ask us for a view for that annotation. So it's asking the delegate it's asking here, the delegate. give me an annotation for this ID, and then you can, or I suppose you can just say use the default. Give me a view for this annotation. A view, okay. Yes, remember that the, okay. the annotation is the kind of the domain object that's right. stuck in the map. The, annotation, okay. the view for that annotation is what they're going to show. So we want to take control of that and be able to provide this custom annotation. Exactly, exactly. Which is our MK map annotation. We will view. return an instance. <laughs> wow. We will return an instance of the MK annotation view. Got it. Right, which is our custom UI view or our custom view of how we want the map to display that okay. annotation on the screen. Okay, and that's okay. what that's what you're doing here, and that's what we're going to do here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So if you've um, if you've worked with the table views at all, um, at UI table view and UI table view cells and things like that, um, this is very similar from a pattern perspective. It okay. Looks very similar. So basically, what we're going to have is we're going to have our annotation identifier. Right. And we're just going to do a pin annotation because okay. we're just going to use pins like we talked about. Okay. Okay. So the first thing we want to do is this little check here. And we want to make sure that basically we don't want to replace the user location, that pulsing okay. blue, okay. with a pin. We could. We could do it here. And in fact, we okay. could replace the user with you know a little terrified a face, or something. You know, sure. a big pile of brains or something. Right? Okay. So we, want to, we don't want to mess with the user. We like the blue pulsing orb thing. Okay. So what we do is you just return nil here. So returning nil says use the default. Returning nil says I'm not going to provide a custom annotation okay. or custom view for this annotation. Okay. And so what will happen is the map kit will then provide that blue orb for us. Okay. Okay. So now we're out of here. We're done with that. And we're going to go down to basically now we're at a place Creating where we need to create a custom annotation. Okay. Okay. So just like with the table views, um, basically they try to reuse annotation views whenever they can. Okay. All right. And so we're going to check basically giving our annotation identifier, which in this case is just a pin annotation. And this could be zombie annotation. This is just something you unique want. to the type of annotation you're okay. about to create. We only have one type, so it okay. can go easy. Uh, so basically, we're going to re see if there's a reusable one. Okay. If there's not, this would come back nil. So there's no reusable ones. So we talk through. Talk them. through when you say reusable. So the first time there won't be because we've never created right. one. We'll create it. Yep. And then you're saying that that same one you've already created will be reused over and over and over. No, I'm saying that basically. So say we add an annotation to the map, mm -hmm. right? And we get this call. There's no reusable anything. We create a custom MK annotation view. We stick it on the map. Right. And later we remove that annotation from the map. Right. Okay. MK, the map kit can cache that view that was created before and throw it in a reusable queue. Okay. The next time we add an annotation to that map, right? We can check that queue and say, Hey, is there already one of these built? Okay. Um, and then if there is, we'll just. But that's on a per it. zombie basis. It's on a per annotation basis. Yeah. Okay. Yep. And so it's just like. So the even though we're cells. using the same type of annotation for all eight zombies, they're going to be eight individual instances. Yep. Because they need to be configured unique to that annotation, right? We're going to okay. need title information. We might want to change color. Okay. Whatever. But if a, if a, if another zombie that had the exact same. Well, I guess you're right. You'd have to take that zombie off and exactly. put it back on, uh -huh. and it's going to say, well, I've already created one of those with that information. Well, no, it'll say, I've already created a one of these MK annotation views, give it back to us, and then we can tailor it for the information we want. Basically, okay. here's an unused view that okay. you can, of the right type. Okay. Right? It's an unused... So it's not so much that it matches as much as we have extra views that are sitting around in this pool? Of the right type, right? And this of is the where right that, type. That's where that annotation identifier comes in, that pin annotation. Okay. Basically saying, I have created what I'm calling a pin annotation. And there's a couple of these available. Does anybody have a pin annotation okay. I can reuse? Okay, got it. Okay, got it. So we'll check that if there aren't any, and there wouldn't be the first time through.